Welcome back to Haunted Faith, and this is my thoughts on Ghost Adventures McRaven Mansion. Now this episode, this episode along with the next seven, are going to be a part of an eight episode miniseries of, of Ghost Adventures called The Hauntings of Vicksburg. Now before I jump into my thoughts, my Ghost Adventures, my thoughts videos are, are going to change a bit. Since Ghost, since Ghost Adventures airs on Saturday night, I'm at the TV station on, on Saturday night working, so I, I, I don't watch Ghost Adventures now as soon as it airs. Uh, I watch the new episodes on Sunday night once they get uploaded to the app. So by the time I watch the episode, record it, and edit it, I don't have much time to get it out, at least by, like, by the middle of the week. So the videos are going to be a bit longer because they're going to be mainly unedited. But that means I'm going to like elaborate on the paranormal evidence even more and give my thoughts even more in depth about, like, like about it. So I'm, uh, I'm literally just going to talk for as long as I want and, I, and, and I'm going to trim the beginning and end and upload it practically unedited. So that's that. The video is maybe 10, 20, or 30 like minutes long. I want to kind of I'm gonna kind of treat them like a video podcast if you want to see it like that. But yeah, this is my thoughts on Ghost Adventures, maybe like McRaven Mansion. And let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Stephen Reed is the owner of the mansion, and it is the oldest building standing in that town. It's basically the time capsule of the South, and. Layman French, the previous owner, he would conjure up spirits and evil entities and he would get seriously injured in his sleep and while he was awake. Like, he would get, like, scratches and broken bones. Like, it, like it got serious. And the house had an exorcism because of him. And just think of this. In order to have, I mean, granted, some exorcisms are more serious than others. Some take months to start and months to even get rid of the spirits, possibly even years. And some are just a quick little blessing type exorcism. But whether or not, this man, Layman French, conjured up so much energy, so much spirits, mainly evil I'm guessing, that they even, that they had, they had the, they had the want, they had the need to do an exorcism on this house. That's crazy. And Lisa, a tour guide, she was thrown. She 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 was picked up and thrown in Mary Elizabeth's room. That's one of the old rooms where I think a girl, a the wife died from childbirth, I believe. Could be wrong. It's been a few days since like since I watched the the episode. Uh, and Carrie, another tour guide that's good friends with Lisa, uh, she was touched in Andrew Glass's room, the oldest room in the building. I think that was built in like 1736 or not, something 36, 17, 18, something like that. It, it's the oldest building in the building nonetheless. And she was touched in, like in her inner thigh by something, possibly a evil entity that was still lingering from layman French, or maybe Andrew Glass himself, the spirit of Andrew Glass, who knows. And the the crew, Ghost Adventures crew, they got special permission to do metal detecting on the property in the land of the McRaven Mansion. And <laughs> It, and, and it's funny. Aaron, the first thing that they found, Aaron found a human bone. Obviously, it was old and decayed, but it was a, obviously a human bone. And also, Aaron found a big-ass nail. But all Zach could find is two small nails and a fat-free old ranch dressing packet that for some reason had metal in it. Why would you stick metal in a fat-free ranch dressing packet? I don't fucking know. But that's a thing. <laughs> and they also found bullets 
and and other shrapnel. And 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 if you for some reason don't know what shrapnel is, the easiest way for for, for me to like to to, like, to to explain it is well shrapnel is just loose pieces of like loose pieces of anything. But during the war, if they ran out of cannonballs or actual legit ammunition, they would just take what anything that that like that they could find throw it into a cannon and shoot it at the opponent. So shrapnel could, could either be like after effects of a cannonball, a bullet, or just legit, just whatever they could find. But, yeah. And, Zach, uh, I think this is during the, yeah, this is during the, the investigation. Zach captured a figure on, on, on the SLS, and it was on Carrie's left shoulder, the tour guide. Like, Carrie and... Carrie and I'm sorry, Lisa was one of the tour guys that got affected, but Carrie and there was another two like tour guy named J J A I, a girl that uh, joined them. So Carrie and J joined them on the investigation, and Zach captured a figure on, on, on the SLS on Carrie's like left shoulder, but Zach didn't tell like, tell her that yet. Well. Zach goes, Carrie, are you feeling anything weird? And she goes, Yeah, now that I mean, now that you mentioned it, I'll, I, yeah, I am. I wasn't gonna say anything, you know. And he goes, Like, where are you feeling? And she goes, On on my left arm. And then Zach goes, Well, there's a figure on your left shoulder. Basically, that was just a way of Zach of like like saying, I want to test you first. But she passed. And and they were in. No, they were on the stairs, and and I think Carrie, uh, had the EVP like in her hand, and Zach was near her, and and, and and one of them asked, "Why, why are you here? What are you doing here?" And in Andrew Glass's voice, at least it sounds like it, it says, "I come to die." That's crazy. That's a classic EVP right there, and. One EV and soon after that, one EVP, one EVP recorder, and one SB7 spirit box randomly die. They just the batteries drained. And Zach even says before they even started the investigation, within 20 minutes before using those pieces of equipment, they have put in brand new batteries, or recharged them if if theirs need like needed to be like 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 recharged. But they were fresh on battery and they just dead of course that wouldn't be be, be the first time we, 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 we saw that on ghost adventures or just in the paranormal in general but still and something grabs Jay's leg or at least her skirt area and she reacts to it and the spirit box right as she feels this grab it says JJ her name twice but she also says, like later on into the, the the investigation, that her nickname is actually JJ. That's that's like a one on one, like spiritual bond. Like you make friends with the spirits there. You are there so much. I would love that. Hopefully, in, in the future, on on Ghost and Haunts tours to Gatlinburg, whenever I move to Gatlinburg, hopefully I'll be that. Like hopefully I'll be able to do that with like. David or Lydia or something of that sort, and the little ghost on the tours you have to go to 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 learn the story. But yeah, um, and an unexplained woman scream on 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 the spirit box, and then an orb shoot like shoot like shoots into the spirit box. I don't remember that exact piece of evidence, so I'm not going to elaborate on that much. But. Then a man comes through on the spirit box and says, Tonight. Forgot the question, to be honest with you. Um, and then Jay, she hears a loud whisper in her left ear. Like someone was like right beside her. Like she said that she felt the, the breath gust of air hit her ear. That would have been ter like terrifying if that was her. Or if I was her, you know. Um... Loud, unexplained moving objects in the upstairs master bedroom. I guess that was while they were at Nerve Center or downstairs in Andrew Glass's room. I'm not too sure on that. Um, 
Oh yeah, I'm glad I, I, I mentioned that. They go upstairs like later on to just investigate this loud moving noise and a lamp that was supposed to be on a nightstand that was supposed to match the other side nightstand was now on the floor. Uh, a brick was broken on the floor and a desk was moved across the floor at least by five feet. That would explain what they heard, but who, what spirit would have the energy to, 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 to do that? In that little of time. That's... I mean, I, I get like after a five minute period of you not, like, not hearing it and then coming back into a room going... That was there and this was there and that was here and that was there. But within like a... Maybe a minute period, probably less. That happening. That's crazy. But... Sorry, I... My haunted object in my mirror is over there, and I keep on thinking I see something over there, but maybe I don't. I, I don't know. <laughs> so I need to do it. I, 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 like, I need to do an investigation with that soon, but that's off topic. And last but not least, uh, on, on the ITC d device, that's where you type in questions and they give you answers. It's French, stones, and ears. French stone tears, and that's about it. But that's all I got for my thoughts on Ghost Adventures McRaven Mansion, the first episode of this eight eight part like mini series of Haunting of Vicksburg. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.